Hello, buddy. Welcome back. All right, let's go and get back in here. <clears throat> I'm just thinking now, after looking at stuff, I do think that early on, just getting an even split of stuff is probably good. But there is a seat at tier two. I hope you mentioned this before. I think it's tier two. Yeah, factories give an extra one influence, so that would be the same as a tower at level one. Now, you don't get any more if you level it up. So if you plan on, you know, leveling up towers to higher ranks, then that'll give you more influence. But it's very expensive and it takes a lot of turns. Factories, however, can do a lot of things. They give you armaments, you can get gold off of them. So... I'm wondering if, in a lot of town situations, I could just go two factory, one um, minor place. Or maybe even stack three factories in the same place. I don't know about that one. But there is a um, one of these things where you get the 10% extra armaments. Would actually be a good you know, thing to put in a place like that. And if you get your factories to tier 3, then you could upgrade them to where you get 30% more um, harvest from those areas. Right here. So it's kind of expensive, but once we get a lot of these discounts, once we start leveling up the factory stuff, it might be worth considering. So if you had two factories with two of these, that'd be 60%. And then if you got up to a, um, a tier 3 outpost, then that'd be giving you like an extra 250 you know materials per turn or whatever off of this and then of course these things um become a little bit more efficient as well like the efficiency on this early on is not crazy but by the time you get to this 300 for um 750 I guess it's not that much extra efficiency. It's like, it's a little bit. But you can start getting some bonuses to these things as well where um, it could become worth it. So I don't know. I'm just thinking at least in some places where we want to be able to globally recruit and get the factory up to tier two so we get that minus one on the global recruitment. Um, you know, we might just want to go ahead and if we take it up to tier three, then you get two turns off. Plus the one turn off in tech, that means anything that would take four turns to hire, which is a normally a two turn hire, would go down to one turn, even globally. So that could be worth it at, at key points of interest to upgrade this to tier three and then just crank the armaments um, and maybe crank the tools manufacturing. But it's just something to consider. That tech does make it a lot more tempting. But remember the tower, even at tier one, the big perk of the tower is even if the influence is the same, it just gives like good money, right? That's really cheap. So it's 100 gold here, and then this is 250. So that's 350 with no extra, you know, per turn. Versus if you want that same thing off of a factory, you're gonna have to pay, you know, 150 materials per turn to get the same gold because the factory does 50 by default <clears throat> and then if you get this thing then it's 150 per turn so it's much much more in the long run than the tower which is just an easier thing the bonus of course is you get to make armaments off of it so if you have enough resources to upgrade then you probably want to go factory but if you just want to take a tier one and you don't have the resources to spare, which is kind of where we were in the early game, then I think taking a tower is fine. Now there are things to upgrade towers too to give more stuff, but that's in the sorcery tree, really far up the tree up here at Conclave Dominance. So that's probably not gonna be worth it. Versus industry, we're gonna be getting extra armaments from factories, construction costs for factories. Um, you do get some tower stuff there too. This right here, whenever we do the extra control for 10 per turn, or whatever this will give us, or I think is it, it might be five per turn. 
I think it is 10 per turn for five turns. This would make it an extra five. So that's a really big upgrade. That's really our only way to manage public order. And then this is kind of whatever at the top. So anyways, just more things to think about. I do think I want to finish extended shifts because we're already kind of going for that right now. And the outposts are good too, if you go to tier two. They are expensive gold-wise, but you do get uh, some money. Okay, let's, so this guy can run down to here. See if we can walk to right here. Dash him over. And I noticed the skull cracker gets better upgrades than the iron daemon. So we'll see how this thing behaves. If it kind of sucks, we might consider doing a skull crack instead. Um, okay, and we can just get rid of this guy for now. Thank you, sir. Okay, can't really move much further. So. <clears throat> I have to wait on that for a little bit. And then this is one more turn and we can get a wizard. I don't think we want to rush this. Remember that I mean, we're getting pretty close, but we're not going to be able to globally recruit it anytime soon. We're going to have to get a factory over there. So, we'll just let it play out. We'll have to get a higher level factory. And if anything, we probably want to rush that. I guess we could global it without the factory if we really wanted to. It would take three turns to global those guys if we get um, this thing, mass production. That's probably worth. But we'll just we'll just let it tick. Okay, and then let's go here. Now what are we getting here? We're getting armaments. Okay. <clears throat> and obviously you wanna try to wait until now, I don't know what this is going to give us, these spices. I don't think any of our techs upgrade spices. Iron and timber. Mar obsidian and marble. Um, spices, I would say, are going to be raw materials, if I had to guess. So you probably want to put an outpost there. Actually, we, it's going to be a main place, so... Mm. that's another thing to consider is you may not want to do a tower on one of these things if you want to upgrade it a lot because the tower upgrades obviously are the most expensive and take the longest so lots of things to think about we lost a trade partner I think are we still trading most of our pots yeah hopefully we'll get a trade partner back here soon so we're getting that. And then uh, this guy is not very strong. Okay. A decent little army, especially because we don't have magic, so. It's going to be interesting. We had one more level we could get. Uh, they wouldn't help too much in a siege. Definitely gonna be trickier. Okay, and then we had this dude come in. So we can send out Kadai Domination, Ad Master. We send some money over there high threat for bandits around here now, so we might get attacked. We've already done Black Crag. It's kind of going to be bandits anywhere. Materials 400 for 263. It's the same thing. Yeah, the raw materials.
materials looks bad. We we just want labor. I guess we can just take Black Crag again. I mean, we just came from there. It's supposed to be worth less, but I mean, it's worth basically the same, and it's two turns faster than that one. Um, we've already got someone going to Volary. That that just feels really weak right now. Those raw materials, because we have so much coming in, I guess. But okay. Remember, 200 of those is 1,500 gold if we want to do a thing. So I, as I said at the beginning, I think that labor is just almost always going to be what you want. I know we've done the raw materials sometimes, but... And then armaments is like maybe turbo late game if you just have a billion armaments and you're just hurting for gold. I found gold. <clears throat> okay, so we got all that. All these people have moved. We're just chilling with Skaven right now. Waiting on this to tick down. You can't remove the... You have to take income. So I was like, can I just deny income here and preserve it a little bit longer? But the answer is no. Okay. Buildings. Don't think we have a lot going on. We were working on a tier 2 factory here, which is fine. But ideally, we would try to save a lot of our tier 2 factory production for further away places so we can global those places easier but you know you kind of you want it to be in a secure place too because it's expensive so it's kind of a give and take as usual um what is this drill thing this is hobgoblin stuff I just kind of wonder if it's like worth it going for the tier 2 I don't I don't think so right now. I would rather, like, I'm just about to hit tier 3. I would rather just try to transition up to tier 4. And then I don't know if we'll go for tier 5. It'll be a, it'll be in the future. But I think going to tier 4 as soon as we hit tier 3 here might be worth it. Okay. And there's nothing else we need to build here. So, we could upgrade this. Okay, and we're about to, we're about to start using these up a lot faster, so I think we're good on that for now. Okay. Okay, so he just finished a mission. He's ranked four. Okay, so we'll do better scales. And then... I guess Inspiring Presence to help out with that. March! He got uh, he got some items. I don't think it's anything that I want. He got a Mirror Shield. It's a 400 barrier. He's the Kazakh monger. Spell Resistance. Am I going to let him charge that barrier? Just keep it on the convoy? I guess we'll put it on him. And then, Talisman and Enchanted Item. I don't think we have any of those. Alright. Clan Berms, we don't want to deal with them. Forge, we're good. All of these effects. Oh, no, we need to do um, something here in these provinces. I could go for more conclave, but I think we just do the uh, control. It's fine. Double check those. turns on that. Gunpowder Road's fine. Switch over to that. It doesn't matter. Uh, 
Haven is going up a lot here. I guess because of Burns? Or no, that's... Okay, that's the one where they have the two properties. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. Stone Desert. Do we want to go ahead and start sending some over here? Probably. Steel and stone. Okay. Steel and stone is the one we're about to give away, right? Where does it say? Work. Northern provinces. Lands of steel and stone. Okay. Alright. And. Hopefully, don't forget anything. Someone unlocked Tower's Art. Now, one thing, too, when you get very high up that I noticed, construction costs minus 2% for each industry seat. So you want to stack all of your seats together. And then over here is minus 1% upkeep for all of your armies for each military seat. Um, so, I mean, the military seat is really good, and it spawns a temporary thing of hobgoblins when you sack a settlement. That could be incredibly powerful. Sorcery District, I feel, is underwhelming. I don't know. Yeah, I think Industry and Military Districts, because they have that stack that's really good. This one does do uh, Winds of Magic Reserve capacity, which is okay. But... Okay, so they took the Winds of Magic one over here. So, I mean, we can go back and take some of these if we want. But what we want to do is get to this. We want this factory thing ASAP. Okay. Interference. Let me take this guy down. I think so. He's mounted too, so anti large would be good against him. They don't have. I mean, archers are really all I'm worried about. Alright. Go ahead and take him down, and then. I have to decide do I want to turn this into a. Uh, He's not going to be able to get there in time. I mean, I could just siege him and wait a turn. This would be cleaner. I'd have a lot more artillery. Just trying to think of how this is going to play out. Come over here, and then we just... He's got perfect vigor. I don't think I got the healing with him. The regeneration, but... These are good, but I don't think they're going to be able to fire that well. I bow yeah, I think we beat him. Let's just take that. <clears throat> and do I want to turn that into like, with the spices? I just don't know what it's going to give me. Now, the clay pots don't give anything extra. It's just... It's like building construction bonus. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, so that might be what these are too. 
I mean, I could do this without sieging. It says Pyrrhic, though, so my units are probably going to get torn up. We do have a lot of replenishment, though, but I just don't know if there's going to be another hostile army nearby or not. I didn't see. Um, let me take a look here. I thought I saw some other army to the south. Okay. Very well. Yeah, so this guy, in theory, could go hostile with us. Especially if we look weak. <clears throat> so he's got a missile battery. Okay, he's fairly weak. He's got these Celestial Guard that are okay, I guess. Uh, these Long Mariners are pretty dang good. Th those are going to be a problem. We've got two Flyers now. We can deal with them. I think we'd be able to beat him, but... If the dragon comes at me with those Longmer Riders, that's... It's gonna get rough. If we don't have the magic... Now, we can shoot at them if they get close enough to our blunderbusses. Or like our fire archers. It would I think we would win, but we'd have to get a little creative. Alright, you got us right where we want. Or they set us up right where we want to be. Buses are just not going to be able to do anything as usual. Right. And then. Get these back here too. in the eight stacks. He doesn't do anything. He just attacks. It's okay. So yeah, they're gonna aim for the great sword or the great weapon. So let's just hold up on that. Okay, they're dropping down. All right, so let's. That's quite a few units. man. I thought I told him to go up there. I guess not. Yeah, those crane gunners just get whacked. Uh, what are these? Jade warriors. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, we still hit a few there. I thought I told him to halt. Okay, yeah, we're getting a lot of damage in there. Okay. Alright, let's keep rolling up. Now, this is kind of like the Alley of Doom here, like up here. So, we gotta be a little careful about that. Oh, they've got those crane gunners right there. That's not gonna be good for business. Where's. Okay. Where are those firing from? Let's see if we can hit those. What is... Okay, my boys are getting... <laughs> Running into some troubles over here. Actually, get... I wish I had some magic over there, but... Okay, so they're done. I think. Yeah? Alright, this team's getting focused. Back him up, back him up. All up in there and some spears. What did I just select? I don't know. Oh god, get those out. What is going on? Those are getting focused hard. Getting surrounded by the halberds. God. They should rally back, I think. Yeah, they're back. Okay, they just got caught in the halberd, so we... Be careful with them. Where are these... Iron Gunners? I think... Choose the 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. How are we taking even more damage? Towers, probably. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do not... Do we fire on this guys? No. What else? Fire on those guys. What? Oh my god, these towers just will not stop. Just run way out there. <laughs> Halberds, halberds, halberds. We don't want that. What is this? I think we've got pretty much everybody here, right? Halberds. God. These things are annoying. Alright, where's their lord? Yeah, there he is. Let's go hunt this fool down. What? Where are you going, bro? Get over here. Wait, 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 don't. No. I don't know where these guys are going, but okay. Alright, yeah, kill those. Where is he getting? Oh my god, the focus fire. No. Oh, there he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kill him. Come here, you coward. The focus fire is real. Get on him. These towers are kind of adding up here. Right, I think a bunch of them want to run. Focus fire from those jade archers. Does all our damage. Halberd's also pretty good against large units. <laughs> News flash. So. Takes a little bit more time. Without the. Uh, um, magic. I guess you do get two slots, I think, off of a um, a tower as well. So it does let you get the gold and the spice building at tier one. I think you get two. Maybe that was only for the one place, um, the capital, but. All right, let's just start off as towers. We can change it to something else, I think, later if we want. And bingo. We do get two spots. Okay, yeah, these are just generic. I think. I don't know if you have a factory or something, if it does something different, but... Um, okay, so we'll just do the donation barrel and... 
for this thing. That's going to be a pretty good chunk of cash, though. I think the only things that give you more than what it seems are ones that are indicated on your text, I think. We'll see if that's 100% true or not. So, obsidian and marble give you more raw materials, it looks like. Um, iron and timber give you a lot of armaments. And gold and gems give you bonus gold. <clears throat> that's what it seems we'll see if anything else comes up um, but I think everything else is just going to be your standard like 100 gold and you get the resources okay so still working extended shifts got these things okay so we can choose to go the black if we want for the, the regeneration is very nice and extra ward save. We do replenish all of our hit points after every fight, basically, though. And I think I'd rather have this. I guess alert? I mean, we're not going to really recruit anything with him ever. We're going to get other people to recruit it and then hand it off. We're not going to raise. There's a chance we could sack something, I guess. Um, I guess we'll just go alert. Now what is this? Okay, it helps you kill enemy lords. So I get that. Okay. Charge bonus, 15% armor piercing damage is good. We gotta get training. It's one of the strongest skills in the game. I remember <laughs> that thing was just so trash for so long. Um, okay. Let's get full boy. This guy is low level. We'll just do better scales. Okay. We get one artillery unit per cannonry expert really i guess we get one of these guys infernal guard which are pretty good um that gives an extra well let's see you get two blunderbusses two of those dudes so you get two more dwarfs little dwarfs and then two more armor piercing dwarfs tier one Um, your whole army gets missile resist and physical resist. Uh, you have no carry units though. I guess you got blunderbuss. Or I could just wait a turn. And send this dude back out. We got a giant a little while ago. For completing a mission. Um, I guess I'll just wait. Okay, so these do reset every so often. I don't know. I mean, is this that bad? Like, artillery unit can be good. This is an elite infantry, but it's not going to kill that many things. Ogre controller gets two ogres. War machinist gets those two. Hmm. I guess we'll just wait a turn. Neither one of those looks great right now. All right, and then getting these. Probably don't want to upgrade any of these yet. Oh yeah, we gotta move 
this guy. Dash him down here. Hopefully this guy doesn't have like an army sitting around that'll attack me. Okay, I think we just do control here. and run him all the way down there. Very annoying, but... And then we decided we're just going to do fire again, I think. Oh, nice. Fanatical looks good. Castellan would be nice to pick up for the movement speed bonus, but we've got to have a tier 2 thing for the dwarves. The dwarfs. Um, okay, we're not upgrading any of these yet. I'm tempted to upgrade that, but I don't think that's going to work. As soon as we get like two more factories, we're going to be even. I know it looks like we have a lot there, but... Three turns on that. We do have quite a bit of labor. I mean, if I get this an additional 10% off, that would bring it down to... I could do two turns. It's 270, it'd be 240... Two turns might be worth. My god, it's five to upgrade these. God, they really want you to rush them, huh? Alright, let's go ahead and we'll get this. <clears throat> then we'll probably rush out a couple of things. Clan Krizor, where is that? Do not like your mask, no fast. Okay, he's at war with these guys, yes, yes. so that's not going to work. So I'm probably going to fight him. Who is Verms? Verms is at war with Clan Moors. So they are pretty far away, but if I can't get a trade agreement with him, I don't really see a point. Clan Ashen still kind of chill with us. Hopefully we... I'm going to be sad if we uh, don't get that deal. But I do need these armaments. Alright. I think we're good. Looked at the Tsar seats. We've done everything. Hopefully we're not forgetting anything. Alright. You gotta remember to send off a convoy next turn. Ooh, there's one of their convoys. It's only got 200 stuff, but still. Oh, a double. Okay. Tariffs faction wide, that's pretty decent. I will. Celestial loyalists and western provinces. Is that cargo? 200, 300. So it's like very minimal cargo. Who is taking these? 
that that other Skaven? How many towns does that other Skaven have? Prisora has two. These guys have seven. How many did they have before? I thought they had six. Where did dude go? Is he dead? Hold on, western whatever dudes. These guys. No, he's still there. Okay, do I go try to take this out? This is going to be really annoying if it's... Snitch. Okay, so how many would that... So they've got four here. Jade Mountain. Now, if I sell that to him, or if I get the agreement with him right now, I should be able to see all of his properties. So then I know if it's him or not. And if it's the other Skaven, I'll just go kill him. I kind of feel like killing these two things, though. I don't know what kind of cargo I could get off of them. It's, uh, it's probably not worth it, though. Like, these Celestial Loyalists seem really weak but they could still have a 20 stack and just randomly start killing my stuff. Killing those caravans doesn't give me towns. It just, I just want to kill it. <laughs> um, it's probably a bad idea. much longer can I ride that out I can get like four more turns off of it I do want to sell this factory only 150 that's a big waste of my time if I run over there though because it's right on his property and I think he had six last time I looked but it could also be Chrysor Ashen hears all. Ashen will, will listen. Yeah, they'll do it. They will not do military access for some reason, though. They'll give me 3,600 gold. Ugh. I do miss out on selling the factory for whatever that amount is but I get vision so I know if I can run over there or not and I get to go ahead and start um, building up points with them so that I can recruit their stuff allegiance points And I get a trade agreement with them, which is not worth a ton, but. So I'm losing out on like 200 armaments. I think I just have to go ahead and do this because I just don't want to waste because I'm wasting like three or four thousand gold if I run over there and I'll trespass on him, which will make him mad if it's him. So I, I just have to know. I'm going to go ahead and do it. It's Wang. Wang Chung. Okay. Okay, so that's a goodie. Village of the Moon, we can get almost everything. Kunlan. Okay, Jingpo is their capital, I think. Let me see. Okay, let me see if that's him or not. Okay, so that is not him. That's the other guy. Okay. No, Kunlan is their capital. Okay. I can also kind of see what they're up to. 
They're not fighting these guys yet, I don't think. I can also potentially join war against their targets. God, how many armies do they have? Two, three, four. Who owns this? Vampiric Corruption. Okay. So we should be clear to go south. I don't know where Western Provinces has stuff. I think it's down here. I mean, the other option is we could go mess with Ogres, but I at least want to get the... Uh, anti-large bull guys will probably go up in there. So what we'll probably end up doing is going down here, clear that out, and then go up in the mountains. And maybe do a two-pronged attack with a second army. We'll see. Okay, Grimgore has a lot of stuff through here. Alright. Okay, so we want to put... Jingpo, or Kunlan, is the safest place, because that's his capital. It's also kind of tricky to get to it. So, and he's about to hit tier 4 on that soon. So I'm trying to remember how these little tower things even worked. Let me see. The outposts. Um... It says how much gold they have, which is kind of weird. Kunlan. Okay, so that will allow us to recruit these. I don't remember what the benefits... Oh, I think if you go tier... You get a discount at tier 2, and then tier 3, I think you can global units from, like, any of their towns or something. I can't remember everything about that, but it's only two turns and 2,000 to build it. Hmm. I don't know if you get more allegiance points if you have it or not, but I do want this eventually. And I would like to get their sniper team. They don't have snipers yet. Um, warp fire throwers or plague claws are pretty good. Halberds would be very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and construct an outpost there. Outside of friendly territory. Okay, so I need to be in the in friendly territory. So you can... Now, I don't know if that means friendly for him or friendly for me. But 2,000 should be fine. And we get two of those, two per turn. And then hopefully we'll get some missions in a little bit. How are we looking allegiance-wise, too? Does that help out? Okay. A decent chunk. <laughs> um, I'm a big... Oh my god. Now I'm a major strategic threat because I'm allied with the Skaven, who also has a lot of properties. It's annoying. All right. So which one do we hit first? I guess we just hit this place, and then come back over there and hit that place. Oh, never mind. We can't hit it in one turn, and it's attrition. Hmm. I think we'll just come right here then. Can I dash? Where can I dash to? Uh, it's going to be really annoying. I'm going to take some attrition, but I think I have to dash to like over here. Then I can dash and hand off the units. Dude's not at war. Yeah, I, I really want to kill these things. Indeed. I mean, they're over here messing with them so hard. I, you big a boom. Yeah, Wait. 
this is their capital? I thought Xing Po was. Address me as Xianlong. Oh, Xing Po is where you start, but it's not a, uh... It's not a capital city. Okay, that's what it is. Uh... Most I really want to kill these. But it's only like 200 bonus gold or whatever, like... Okay, fine. Let's just let it go, let it go. They're out of the way. Man, if he declares war and runs around... I guess we'll just chill right here for now. And then just wait until we come back over here. Now, if he takes this, then I can probably kill him right there. I could grab these blunderbusses. Okay. Oh, that's moving. Okay. And then... I think we just rush construction here. We're gonna have to wait on that. Okay, and then Dragon Crossroad over here. I wanna upgrade this. Ooh, do we wanna do a refinery? I mean we could do this too, raw materials. Getting that give us 30 per turn effectively which you know pays for itself in six turns or so it's not horrible um, other option would be this 150 per turn that's about to eat some we're that hard up for gold right now that's just definitely worth it 100% and then over here we could start the dwarf stuff I don't know if I care about the three stack dwarf my god that's insanely expensive even with all the discounts Guess we just get a uh, donation barrel. Minus five percent, but it's thirteen hundred. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, and it's not worth. I mean, the death shrieker is cool and everything. But I don't think it's worth upgrading this yet. We just don't have the armaments for that. I think just getting this. This is a donation barrel, and again, we can sell it back later, but just make a little money. Iron. Healing cap plus 50% for war machine units, but we're not going to heal that much. None of them get regeneration, I don't think. upkeep reduction I mean we get like maybe 200 gold a turn armaments 50 per turn is okay I mean getting a little bit more of this is okay but that's just so expensive just don't think we can do that and this is not it's 50 more gold <laughs> <coughs> It's not worth. 
Okay. So we'll do these things, and then... I don't think we want to rush anymore after that. Okay. Got so many turns. I think we want to wait until it get, at least gets down to like two turns or something, then maybe we can rush. Okay, and we've got cargo. All right, war machinist. And we just came from Greece's Hall. I don't know if that uh, gives you any extra. Now the Volary also is getting pretty sparse here. Nine turns on the change there. 500 for 243. That's three turns, that's five turns though. Um, three more turns for 50. If these far away ones, I don't know. I, this doesn't seem amazing to me. Unless you're getting like a really good item or like unit or something. I guess we just go for Greases again. It's so close. the building stuff I think we wanted to do man Lee's almost upgraded 50 turns later <laughs> desert okay I think that's fine not go that far or what I don't think heroes cause problems, public order problems. I think it's only armies that walk through that are problematic, I believe. <clears throat> okay. Okay, we could trade with these guys. <laughs> uh, they really don't like us though now but okay they're at war with the celestial loyalists whichever woeful deity protects you it ends here we'll spill your blood hmm that <laughs> doesn't sound very happy but I get a little bit per turn. Hopefully it doesn't piss off Eshin. Let's see, how did Eshin feel about that? Disciples, no, okay. No, just get out of that. I don't know how to just backspace on it. But that didn't make Eshin mad. No, they don't care. Trespasses, strategic threat, aversion. I'm a higher strategic threat because I'm allied with them and they don't like it. <laughs> like, what? Yeah, that's not gonna work. Let me do Verms. Puppets of Misrule, how do they feel about me? Okay. Okay. I've got that. We've got the text. Hellforge is cranking. Convoys are popping. 
Got all the public order. I don't think we need to build anything else. Upgrade anything just yet. This factory is online. Uh, about to upgrade the other factory. We also just finished a new mine. Oh. Let's go ahead and change that over to construction because next turn I want to upgrade the mine and then get a money house thing. Okay. to pay them a lot of money for a trade agreement. They approve of my caravan wealth. Uh, no, it's not worth I just don't have enough stuff right now. And I probably want to go over there and kill them at some point. I think the Conclave sent me a mission to mess with them. Preservation is very nice, sort of strive. Nice, more income, scavenger building, that's huge. So he just dashed over here. Did he scare away? Don't disappoint me. Uh, what's his name? Or did he kill him? Scared him away. Let's yeah, I don't see him anywhere. I don't know where he went. I don't know where this dude's going either. But. This is not them. This is the other people. Okay, so we should, or we should, the other people, the other rats. So we should be able to go kill this guy and then dash back over here. There's a chance they could come over here and attack this. So it's a little risky to have my army there. This dude here. We might just want to dash him over here or something, but. Yeah, I think we take that and then run south. But we'll have to do that next episode. Anyways, we're starting to get about 16 per turn, so that's pretty good for now. Most things are looking good. Armament's still a little slow. Um, Grimgor hopefully is chilling. Um, and yeah, that's going to be it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.